It's the notorious affluenza teen on the run. This surveillance footage of Ethan Couch was taken at a butcher shop across the street from his hideout in Mexico. Couch seems at ease as he buys chicken and waves as he leaves. Couch's mom, Tanya, was also caught on the video, which was obtained by Good Morning America. Here she is trying to pay for meat with U.S. dollars. The owner insisted she pay in pesos. Couch and his mom were busted in the beautiful resort town of Puerto Vallarta on Monday, just two hours after the surveillance video was shot. Stephen Fabian spoke to Texas Sheriff D. Anderson, who has been leading the search for the couches. Were you surprised at all that they were hiding out in Puerto Vallarta? No, I, I expected no less. I really didn't think that uh, with the history of the Couch family that they'd be living in some dirt floor shack somewhere. I knew if they were somewhere it was going to be a resort area, and sure enough it was. We're learning new details of the Couch's life on the run in Puerto Vallarta. Mom and son stayed first in this swanky $400 a night hotel, the kind of fancy beachfront resort you'd expect a spoiled little rich kid to hide out in. But for some unknown reason, the Couch's moved into a second floor apartment in this shabby flop house for just $80 a month. The butcher store where they bought meat is right across the street. They used burner phones to communicate, making their calls untraceable. But Ethan Couch reportedly slipped up when he used his own phone to order pizza from a local Domino's. Authorities traced his whereabouts to that fancy hotel where Ethan and his mother were staying. But when cops showed up, the Couches had already checked out. Then a tip from a hotel worker led Mexican cops to the flop house. It took some surveillance and some time, but they finally ran them down, found out where they were staying, and watched till they till they left and were able to apprehend them. We asked Sheriff Anderson about one of the stunning revelations he made about the mom and son at a news conference yesterday. They even had something that was almost akin to a going away party. What can you tell us about this quote unquote going away party that the two had before they fled the country? It's just another way to thumb their nose at the law and thumb their nose at at the, the people who they've hurt and the, the families that are irreparably damaged by his actions.